Hey y'all, I'm so happy that you joined me today. I'll have to say what happened. I thought I was videoing, and so I've done almost all the recipe for the first part of it. And then I looked up in my storage, it had this little message on saying storage is full, and it wasn't videoing. So anyway, I'm gonna have to tell you what I did. So we are making barbecue shrimp over rice. And I love this recipe because Barbecue shrimp is just shrimp stock full of flavor, but to serve it over rice makes it just a great meal and people can really enjoy it. So here is our sauce. And the first thing I did was melt three fourths of a cup of butter. And then I put in one and a fourth cup of shrimp stock that I made with the peels from the shrimp that I bought. And all you do is just put it in some broth and cook it down a little bit. I'll let it cook down probably for 20 minutes, which was enough. And um, the whole house smells like I've been cooking shrimp for days. It smells so yummy. And then what I, this is a real flavor kick. And it is the liquid boil that you use whenever you're boiling shrimp or crawfish. Now, um, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. I'm just gonna, judge it like that. And then I added some rosemary and thyme. Fresh thyme, <laughs> there's a little bit of the stem, and fresh rosemary and some garlic that, um, like three cloves of garlic is really what you need because shrimp love butter and garlic. And so then I'm gonna add some fresh oregano. Do y'all do this? Oops, well here's our rosemary. I grow it so um, I like to use it in a lot of different dishes. This is, I saw this on, on TV. This is my rose, uh, my oregano, my plants. And you know, it'll just, if you want to grow oregano, do it, because it's super easy to grow, but it's wild. And so you need to either have it contained or it'll take over your whole flower bed, which I kind of think is pretty. But then whenever you want to dry it, just tie it like this, hang it upside down somewhere. I just have it over in a plant right there. And then all you do is just, you know, manipulate it a little bit for your, uh, whatever you're cooking. So anyway, um, I'm so glad that y'all joined me today. This is going to be a fun, fun, fun recipe. I can't wait. This needs to cook down for about three minutes. And the reason, oh, I added some black pepper too. And at the very end, I will test it for seasonings. If I need any more salt or any more Dana Dash, I added three table, well, three teaspoons, heavy teaspoons of Dana Dash. And um, that's all. So... Then I'll let this cook down. It doesn't need to cook down for a long time. It just needs for the flavors to all melt and actually has been cooking down that long already. So I think we're ready to, I, there's an extra garlic quote. We're gonna add our shrimp. And these are wild American shrimp. I think, I'm hoping that they come from Louisiana because that would really make me happy. And um, then you just let them cook down in this sauce until they're cooked and they turn pink and it takes about eight minutes. So um, I'm gonna cut off right now and let them cook for eight minutes. Y'all see how pretty it is? Woo! And it smells so yummy, y'all. I'll go over the, the ingredients one more time since I thought I was filming and didn't. <laughs> three-fourths of a cup of butter, a cup and a fourth of shrimp stock, or three-fourths of a cup of shrimp stock and a half a cup of ale. Um, we don't keep it here, so you can't buy one can in some grocery stores, so I just thought I would add extra broth. But I did add this for a kick. Just two dashes, data dashes, but two dashes of this liquid seasoning. Rosemary, thyme, and black pepper. And um, then we're letting it cook. We're going to let our shrimp cook. And I will be right back. Okay, y'all, so here is our beautiful barbecue shrimp over rice. So you can see how pretty it is. I think it would be good if you had any green onions. I have a little bit of garlic chives here that I'm actually growing. And I'm going to just snip some over, give the little chives a haircut, and add a little greenery to our dish. But look at it, y'all. It's so beautiful and it smells so delicious. And you still serve it, you know, you serve barbecue shrimp typically 
with the barbecue shrimp with the peel sun and French bread. So you still serve it with your beautiful French bread. And by the way, I got this at that gourmand French store that I posted about. So it's real French bread, <laughs> but let's give it a taste. Before that, let me say, if I can get through it, thank you to all the first responders, I'm wearing red today, that are in the um, East, in Tennessee, and North Carolina, and South Carolina. Um, we just applaud you. And I've been, after Katrina, I went to Louisiana and Texas. After the flooding, the second go-round, I went. And I'm telling you, these people that... Salvation Army, um, Samaritan's Purse, Barbecue Operation Barbecue Relief. Those people, these people are heroes, and they just go in there and plug away and feed all these people who need so much help. So thank you to all those praying for everybody else, and I hope soon you can enjoy. One of these wonderful, yummy recipes, barbecue shrimp, y'all, with rice. Mmm. This is a keeper, y'all. It is delicious. Bon appetit.